Hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to Sea of Stars. A uh, week after release and two rave reviews, we're finally getting the shot to play it, courtesy of Sabotage Studio, who were kind enough to reach out and sponsor this video. I've been looking forward to this game for a very, very long time. I'm a huge RPG fan, especially like the more old school ones. Uh, I feel like 3D gets kind of too big. And so something about pixel art games has this kind of nice cozy feel. Yeah, and this pixel art looks absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I love seeing the, I suppose, the subtle gradations that they're making with all the little points. Yeah, and boy, I mean, this is this is barely even a taste. This look is too dark. Foliage. What was that? Look at the foliage. Look I at know, it but I want to look at it in, in the light. Uh, <laughs> interestingly enough, this is the prequel to uh, The Messenger, which I didn't know about until a couple days ago. And I was like, oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, look at that. So that there's two in, characters. Though? Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party. This yeah. can be changed later and does not affect the story. So we have, is it Valerie? Do you think it's Valerie rather than Valir? Maybe, probably. Or, and then Zale. So he's a blade dancer born on the summer solstice. Walks the path of the guardian god Solon. And then a monk born in the winter solstice walks the path of the guardian goddess Luana. Let's so kind of like her. Luna. We can swap this whenever we want. And both characters are just in the party at all times. So I don't think we need to worry about it. Ooh, look at that library. Welcome to the Great Archives Adventure. I suppose curiosity has brought you here. One uh, underrated perk of... Just coming off of a pretty dread sickness, uh, <laughs> I can do kind of old, decrepit man voice even better than usual. An important trait to be sure. I am the archivist, an immortal versed in the ways of alchemy. Oh. Ooh. But perhaps you knew that already. After spending millennia cataloging the many events of countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull over everything I had seen. In my musings about the stories that filled these books and scrolls, I had a recent epiphany. It seems that in my haste, I may have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. As such, there's one special story I wish to revisit, one deserving of a witness. And should the mists of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet bloom. Boo. <laughs> Peeking over their shoulder. So, walk with me tonight, and we will explore a tale of high adventure, of magic and deceit, of friendship and wonder, but mostly a tale of heroism, one that I believe will offer valuable insight in the search for a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Oh no, a Fleshmancer? Are, are they just a necromancer that specifically specializes in flesh magic? Maybe, like... Or yeah, that, or flesh... they're a, a changeling or something. Who could they be? Yeah, where they stitch living things together. Ooh. Now I remain a bit lost amidst all of these timelines and all of their subtle variations. But I know just the one to make for, for a perfect starting point. Let us see what we find in there. Ah, yes. Our story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer generations prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that is yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on Evermist Island, two brave children of the Solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully-fledged sol Solstice warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. Using magic without using magic? Hmm. I freaking love that voice, and it's going to be really hard for me to reclaim outside <laughs> of being sick, and it sucks. Yep. Like, if I ever get into voice acting, it's going to be for my weird cursed voices and not my, like, more normal ones. <laughs> oh, yeah, the ones that are always the most taxing. I, I should just put, put together a voice acting reel of just, like, my most, like, goofed out weird voices and just say, 
Hey, do you need a goofed out weird old like crusty man? I gotcha. Okay, we have to decide. Is it gonna be Valir, Vala or Valerie? Uh, or should we just call her Val? <laughs> uh, up to you. I think it's Valerie. Okay. All right. All right. We made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. So the Elder Mist lives s somewhere here, huh? Do you think it's just another test? Could be, but it sure beats sitting at the academy. And sewing. Ha! Huh. Yeah, I'm sure glad that's over with. Apply our yourselves, for the for y the will you weave into it shall be the sole defense in times of greatest need. Wait, your sole defense in times of greatest need? Wait, so is it that they're teaching these warriors how to sew their own clothing so that they can... Uh, def I suppose it depends on if the fabric is actually capable of defense. Perhaps. Well, well the lessons taught here may appear, may appear to be lost on you. Something deep inside is compelled to learn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you can't fake laugh. No, I cannot. Hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's split up and search for a good spot. Time for some scouting. <gasps> ah! I'm coming through. A random goblin? They have a lantern and a club? Vulnerable and gone. Brewcaves wasn't kidding. These feel easier to fight already. Let's see where this leads. Now, I know this game has, like, perfect timing and some other stuff. Yeah, it doesn't look like it can do anything with it. So, traversal combat. Timing hits. Your attacks and skills can be enhanced by pressing A at the right time to increase damage, healing, or score additional hits. Timing Ooh. hits is not mandatory. Think of it as a bonus to shoot for. Yeah, so you just get, what, do they show an extra five or two points of damage or defense? Yeah, so two points of defense... But extra still, five damage. extra five damage means a 30% increase to your effectiveness. Regular attacks recover three MP. Should not hesitate to use special attacks. Okay, so we can get MP back pretty often. Uh, let's see. Anything else? No. Your screen's on a, like, half-second delay from me. Mm -hmm. and so when I'm flipping through it, it's, like, super distracting. Oh, no. And it's not really that big of a deal. Whoa. Is that a rock goat? Yeah, I'm like slightly leery about adventuring too hard. Maybe the rock goat just chills and we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> but it certainly does feel like it's following me. Oh no, there you go. I was not wrong. Well, the odd thing is it resembles a bull more so, but it definitely may like a goat. Ouch, tough one, huh? Let's try this. Skills, crescent arc, smashes enemies in an arc. So effect, hammer, and then moon. The moonerang. Wow, there you go. Valir, uh, Valerie, found anything? Just at that end. How about you? Another note, but the way to the top is definitely through here. The sun's setting. Come over. I'll get a fire going. I'll be right there. Can't wait for more tomato clubs. Tomato clubs? As in tomato club sandwiches? Or tomato... what? Uh... Tomato clubs. It's... Uh, a tomato sandwich with slices of tomato between slices of tomato <laughs> with minced tomato uh, gluing the whole thing together. Okay, well, what's in a normal really club <laughs> sandwich? Isn't it melted cheese and stuff? So oh, it could okay. just be... So I guess you have to cook one or two of the tomatoes first before you mash it together into this horrible thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think sliced tomatoes would be good in a grilled cheese. Oh, yeah. Because usually people put ham or... I mean, sometimes we put 
grilled onions or other things and cheese, grilled cheeses, but I wish I had a little bit more feedback of when the perfect hit is going to be. At least yeah. kind of for the first couple, just so I can get the feel for it. Because mm. I'm just blind guessing of like, oh. is it now? Is it now? Oh no, another goat bull. It smells blood. It smells the tomato clubs. But it doesn't beat the face that you made the first time that you tried smashing a sunball. I can still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether paying attention in class or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. To be fair, you did learn. Oh yeah. That one only took once. You ever miss those years? Before training, just being kids, always daydreaming and getting in trouble. Hmm. And making mistakes. Yeah. I'm sorry, Valerie. I didn't mean... It's okay. I understand why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened. It's just... I wish he had said goodbye. You know? After 10 years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's all right. Did they have a friend that they fooled around with? Like they went off into the wilderness and fought a creature or something and he got injured and then Possibly, left yeah. them or something? Because they're talking about mistakes that they made as kids. So yeah, 10 years. Or maybe the friend just didn't go to the academy. Oh, uh, no, that could be. Because if they haven't seen him in 10 years, then that probably means that they branched early. Well, I mean, all it takes is just like one outing. And sometimes folks are, they say, you know, you can't ever see that child again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Especially if a child gets injured. And then we're still friends. Uh, we have to get ahead of ourselves anyway. Oh, Garl. I know it's a save point, but still. Ten, Ten. years ago. Oh, y you can do this. Oh, that's all right. Ten years ago, in the village of Moon Cradle. Do you mind handling all the child voices? Just because oh, that's okay. I, I don't think I can drop down below my usual uh. <laughs> My weapon will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. We'll be unstoppable. Oh, please don't give that child a British accent. I, I, I didn't. I'm just making... <laughs> I'm just making him sound a little dirty. Okay. Imagine all the wonders that we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I want to see the sleeper. What's that? You've never heard of the sleeper? Stories say that he's a giant serpent. And he's been sleeping, curled up in a mountain since even before that there were traveling historians to record it. No way! There is, and it's super dangerous too. But don't worry, it can't wake up. Why not? Apparently there's holes in the mountain, and the wind blows through them, and that plays a melody that keeps it asleep. Whoa! I want to see it too! the bell. Erlina and Bulgraves are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. Time to save for the weird book before we get <laughs> killed by dragons. Oh no, they... So they're going up to see the creature that's being kept asleep by a lullaby? Uh, the, not at the moment. Not at the moment. No, no, no. Going I, off to see adventurers, I think. Hey there, younglings. Are you still playing in that little cave down below? Um, and like I said, pixel art on this game, absolute mastercraft. Mm-hmm. Really good. And the music's really catchy. It's cute. The Messenger, one of its biggest selling points was the soundtrack, and I'm glad to see that uh, that has not changed for their next game. Hey, wait! Oh, 
Oh, there's some animation. It's got a nice style, too. Are those Orlina and Bulgrave? I saw that man's nipple. Or Brugrave. Brugaves? Brugaves. Brugate. I don't know. Is it? Is it Brugaves. Br You're going to say Brugave, like agave? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. He, I mean, the dude just makes tequila. Isn't tequila made out of agave? Wait, what? Oh, just the spikes? I mean, maybe. There you are. Playing your, your secret hideout again? We were training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. Whoa! Come closer, Zale. Open your palm and concentrate. What about you, Valerie? Have you been training too? Every day. I bet I'm stronger than you now. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Come here then. Whoa, easy now. Can't report to the headmaster if you knock me out. That was awesome, Zale! You did it! Solstice Warriors. If you're done with your babysitting duties, I would hear your report. Oh, that's the headmaster. Do you think that you're using the headmaster voice? <laughs> maybe not. It's okay. The kid's probably... Oh, I'll switch to my Deckard Kane voice, maybe. Uh-huh. Hey, he mm. needs to sound more dismissive. Yep. Right away, headmaster. Can we go, too? Believe me, once we enter Zenith Academy, you'll wish you hadn't. Hmm. Let's go, Brugaves. Now, do you think the horns are part of her headdress, or does she actually have horns? All the characters that we've seen so far have been humans, but I know that there's beast folk later from the demo that we had tried, so I don't know. <sighs> Hi! The full moon is out! Hmm? Oh, he's r Oh, it's- he's, he's right! Sorry. Wanna go to the Forbidden Cavern again? We tried already! I can't open it. Yeah, but last time we decided that maybe the full moon would make the room more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work. And Moraine will be so impressed, he'll take you two in for training right away. And then we'll finally be allowed to leave this island. What if he gets mad and delays our training instead? No way. Well, we can worry about that after I open it. I mean, if I open it. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Time to go make terrible mistakes. Mm-hmm. Oh, don't tell me they released the Fleshmancer from some ancient tomb. Oh, sweet. Oh, no. Time to sacrifice, sacrifice Garl to the flesh. Oh, that would be terrible if he lost an arm or something. I, I don't think that's going to happen. We made it. Time to stop for a snack. He's the Samwise, isn't he? What? I'm not hungry. Yeah, we, we just left a few minutes ago. Look, it's not a real adventure if you don't eat a snack on the road. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Here sandwiches or is it the clubs tomato club tomato clubs nom 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 wow that was really good yeah no kidding glad you like it it's the jam i use a little bit of sap from celestial willow uh you could get in trouble for that only if you tell <laughs> All right. How do I do this? Maybe like Arlena showed me? By opening your palm and concentrating. 
You got this, Valerie! The door opens, and with it, a torrent of flesh comes <laughs> spewing forth. It just scouts blood. The kids no. were consumed. Oh, a bell. I knew it! It worked? Uh, I... I did it! I finally did it! So, what now? The headmaster must have heard the bell ring. Uh, do we just wait for him to show up? Might as well enter. It can be our first adventure. Yeah, and then the headmaster will know that we're not afraid. This is exciting, let's go. Boy, this feels like it's one of those situations where every problem with these kids could have been averted if the adults had actually just taken them somewhat seriously. Taking As them seriously also... You know how they say... Was this... Were they told just never to open the door? Or why was this not better protected? The headmaster just seemed to kind of blow them off. So there's a very real possibility these kids have just been let run loose. And the only, like interactions people have are just putting them down. There's monsters over there. Let's hide. I thought Evermist Island was safe. Guess that's only true for Moon Cradle. We should go back. They, they look dangerous. Yeah, good call. Oh, no. They've been cut off by the weird... Unicorn sea urchin slug things? Are they nudie bronx with unicorn horns or something? I don't know what they are. <gasps> Watch out! There's another one! This is bad. We're surrounded! Can we try to use your powers? We're not ready for this! I... I don't know. Just... just try! Okay. Let me focus. Watch out! It's repairing something! Uh, come on, come on! Valerie, watch out! Oh. Oh, did he lose his eye? I think so. Uh, no! Garl! Wow, they really put a lot of effort into making these facial expressions. Mm -hmm. Like, most games give characters like three, but they're doing a lot of minor variations. Mm-hmm. It really hurts. I I can't see. There's no escape. It's about to attack again. Is the headmaster there? Yep. So it was you. As resourceful as you are, reckless, I see. Master, Garl needs help. It, it feels better. Like anyone born in Moon Cradle, a regular kid. Uh, uh, wait. Like anyone born in Moon Cradle, a regular kid. What Garl needs is to not concern himself with the affairs of the Solstice Warriors. I'm really sorry, Headmaster. It was all my idea. Yeah. Hmm. Be thankful that the only cost of this lesson was an eye, young lad. As for the two of you, if you're so eager to receive training, I shall oblige. Follow me. Uh, a lesson? An eye? Oh. Like Aww. I said, I think a lot Poor of these girl. problems are mostly just inflicted by... Uh, shitty upper management. Make sure to treat the wound and soothe the poor kid. He's not the complaining type, but if the pain seems to return, please send for me. Understood, Headmaster. You will not see your friend for a very long time. If you have any parting words, speak them now. I... Can't he come and stay with us? How long is very long? Like, a week? 
Ah, the eagerness of youth. It takes years to properly train solstice warriors. Years? No way. But... Your friends have much to learn. I would suggest you use that time to reflect upon what happened today. With any luck, it'll help you forget any ideas of getting involved with a burden that is not yours to bear. Ouch. Just... Out. Like I said, shitty upper management. Guys, don't forget about me. Never. We'll train really hard. Maybe it won't take so long. The music seems too chipper for what just occurred. Yeah. It's all I magic mean, yes, and they're wondrous. Ascending it's like, and they're your friend lost an eye. It's so wondrous. You can be warriors while he <laughs> has to suffer. Uh. Oh. Oh. Well, and now we're grooving. Welcome to Zenith Academy. In this ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know in order to become true solstice warriors. Been waiting for this for so long. When do we start? Tomorrow. Though I believe a proper introduction is in order. Careful now. Ah. <laughs> Going up another elevator. And up here, you see the demon that powers the sun. <laughs> in reality, we do its bidding. Luckily, it's mostly a good demon. It says an unhealthy fixation with alpacas. Welcome to the classroom in the sky. Whoa! It's beautiful! I'm feeling a weird resonance, like when I opened up the Forbidden Cavern. Good on you for noticing that. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic. It shows great promise that you were able to feel it before. And Zale too, from what Erlina uh, told me. Oh, it was just a small burst. Hmm. They have no idea how much potential they have. It is probably for the best. Now, in the many years you will spend at Zenith Academy, you will learn about the duties incumbent upon Solstice Warriors the magic you are destined to wield and the evils it is meant to cleanse. We'll learn how to fight too, right? Naturally. You will spend your days training and studying, but most importantly, sewing. Sewing? That sounds boring. Oh, well, I love sewing yes, though. but I've run out of socks <laughs> and no one else wants to do it for me. <laughs> I can assure you that it is. A mandatory task nonetheless. All who would join our order begin by weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric, the staple of the Solstice Warrior. It is their most prized possession, guaranteeing light in the darkest spaces or places, and a measure of protection against the minions of the Flashmancer. But first, you must learn of your duties, train until you cannot feel your limbs, and then train some more. Once both your body and mind are ripe with potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. You will then be sent out beyond the Forbidden Cavern to meet with, El with the Elder Mist, for it alone may officially grant you the title of Solstice Warrior. Sewing? I understand it is not what you were hoping for, but it is what is, uh, it is, what is required of you for the time being. So it really isn't called sewing? It is not. Really? Really. I swear I've heard people call it suing before. But not like to sue as in no, in a court of I've law. I've but... never heard. Well, then why do you say, like, I suppose you can say I've sewn and I have sewn. Yeah, I've only heard sewn. But maybe it's a weird, the European pronunciation versus the American pronunciation. If anybody th thinks it's pronounced sue as opposed to sew... Uh, let shall know because she's been alone in this opinion for forever. <laughs> 
I mean, I use them interchangeably, but it's one of those things where I go, hmm. So. Huh? Yeah. Years of sewing. Sewing. <clears throat> sewing. Mm. Yep. I know. It should be sewing probably in this particular context. There. Oh, there we go. You hit my chair with that nice lean. <laughs> that will be all for today. You will be spending a lot of time in these halls, so you should make yourselves at home. Your left is the training room. You are to go there first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. Never go there. <laughs> I was right. There's yep. off limits, of course. And to your right are the dormitories. Just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. If you don't sleep in the right one, <laughs> one it just itches endlessly. <laughs> It has to have blankets with the correct magic imbued into it. If you make a mis uh, mistake with your bedding, even once you're expelled, <laughs> feel free to look around and go to sleep when you're ready. Good night. And then back down is the fun zone. Nope, it doesn't go back to town. You can never leave. Oh gosh, is that... Is that supposed to be a, a an altar or a fighting? It's probably like a, a yeah, fighting dais. ring or something. Yeah. She's mopping up the blood from the last contenders. Oh, there you are. Moraine finally decided that you were ready. Yeah, look at all the weapons. Yeah, it's probably sweat and blood have to be mopped up. Boy, these environments are gorgeous. Mm hmm. Like, every once in a while, I see somebody with the extremely unenlightened take of saying, like, you know, pixel art is, uh, is like a dead end art form. And within like X number of years, nobody will be using it anymore. And I'm like, that's bull hockey. This looks so nice. Mm hmm. Is that an old lady? I remember when early and I'm. Brugrives. Brugers were your age. I thought you said Brugave. <laughs> Brugers. They want to stop running. Oh, I feel old now. Who was it? It was like somebody kind of big, like at a Nintendo or something that was like. Oh, there you can look at the bookshelf. Yep. Sewing basics. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> just no interest whatsoever but like I, I swear it was like a developer of one of the bigger companies like Nintendo or something that was saying like yeah you know you won't see pixel art at all in like 10 years and like most of the people reacting to it were like that's nonsense but mm -hmm. I was just sitting there being like boy this guy just has no idea what he's talking about because I, I almost feel like we're going to see more pixel art and less 3D Mm -hmm. Not by too much, but like there's going to be a lot of these like really high end indie games that everybody's talking about for years to come. Uh, and, and the thing is, they age so well. They age so gracefully. This could have been released 30 years ago or 30 years from now, and it would still look great. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, maybe the UI would have some issues 30 years ago, but still. Just but. a bunch of old books. Oh. Books are amazing, though. How are we supposed to match to our elements? There's probably, yeah, blue versus red, so mm. the moon versus I, the sun. I guess. I was ex ex expecting the sun to be more yellow. <laughs> they probably have it that moon is more just blues and purples, and then they have the yeah. sun be oranges and reds and yellows. The next morning, in the training room. Good morning, fellas. Brugavis! So you'll be our trainer? I wish. Erlina and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. Dale received the training sword. 
Valerie received the training staff. All right, let's get to work. You got this, Valerie. Don't give up now. Never. <laughs> Ladders. Come on, Zale. Keep up. I... I can do this. Ninety-nine. One hundred. That's it for today. You did great. Hmm. That was a lot. Feel free to take a break. Elena will see you on the terrace whenever you're ready. Elena, Elena is ready to see you. She's waiting just outside the academy's entrance. The re half the game is just going to be their childhood. Uh, <laughs> I, no, I'm pretty I, sure this is just going to be. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of reminiscing and whatnot. It's just a door, the purple smoke they have coming out. Like oh, the yeah. Way they've and then there's all the clouds, it. and you can just kind of see the inference of the world below. Yeah. Yeah, the original pad. Like, oh, that, it just looks so good. Mm hmm. The rocks are especially well handled. I, yeah. And the, and the plants. It's these crystal pillars. Yeah. Especially. Oh. There you are. Ready to learn magic? It should feel as if something was scratching an itch far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. I... I think it's working! Hey! You startled me! I almost had it! Now mine's gone too! It's okay. Just breathe slowly. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. If your timing is true, it will manifest. On three. One. Two. Three! I think I felt it. It tickles! Right there. You just did the hardest part. I'm sure your training will go well, but one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life and... Alina. Uh-oh. She's in trouble now. Hmm. Don't you go putting weird ideas in my new chi uh, child soldier's heads. <laughs> Since you're done onboarding our new recruits in the ways of magic, I would provide the briefing for your next uh, assignment. As for the two of you, it's about time you tried that sewing kit. Move along now. Grandpa needs his socks. <laughs> and making magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars sure is a tall order. Yeah, I have no idea what shapes to even make. It sucks. <laughs> At least the headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. I got weird feet. Anything will fit them. <laughs> oh, one day, please. <laughs> also, that would be the the loom would be a wrong uh, implement for sewing I suppose but then also for making socks because you want to kind of start knitting in a tube and yeah I don't know well I'm bored what are you doing I'll just walk around a bit don't tell me she goes into the headmaster's quarters or overhears his assignment to them you know I'm what I mean pretty sure that's exactly what it is he hears their assignment and then they never come back training at the academy for 10 years though oh you keep saying that but the flesh panther left our realm for good when the dweller of strife was destroyed why can't they have a normal life 
and you know the three of us can take the one on Wraith Island. We don't need them. Prudence, Erlina. There's no telling what threats we may face in the future. Valerie and Zale were brought to Moon Cradle by the Great, great Eagle. It's not the place of the Headmaster to question such things. And neither is it yours. Wait, the Great Eagle dropped them off in Moon Cradle? Yep. There are some special children? Some kids are born, some kids are just dropped on us by birds. <laughs> but it's eagles, it, it's not storks. So how much is enough? What about Mo Moyara? What about the twins? Rugaves! Oh. Do not judge a sacrifice. You cannot begin to comprehend. Wait, so do they have other children? That had died? Yeah, other solstice warriors. Mm -hmm. This conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse, after their training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But... Let's just go, Brugaves. Ooh, there's a, a door with a giant lock on it. I made the lock extra big so children can't use my key. It's too big for their small hands. And so they trained and they sewed for days and then for months. Faster now. Focus, and then release. And the longer a dweller is left to his devices, the stronger it gets. It, this makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long, and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. Since delaying only increases the chances of a world eater, Cleansings always target the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster, if dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? Ah, that's why cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. In these moments only, the dweller's weaknesses are exposed. How many dwellers are left? Just the one, known as the Dweller of Woe, but we cannot know for sure. The flesh master may just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Valerie? What happened with the Dweller of Strife? And who's Moyara? Uh-oh. Things she should not have overheard. That will be all for today. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Valerie, wake up! Zale, what is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Who cares? Let's go and check it out. All right. Is it one of the two headmasters or trainers come back, perhaps, from their mission or their investigation, or someone else? Oh, look, a letter? Hey, look! Oh, it smells good. There's a note. Oh, it's Garl. Dear Valerie and Zale. If you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a failsafe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with the celestial willow jam you like. Aww. Keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops, uh, now the platform is almost up and I can see more rain is out there waiting for me. Uh, he looks very angry. I'll try to drop the jar without him noticing. Guess that means I won't be able to try vi a visit again, but 
I'm thinking of you every day, and I can't wait. I hope you like the cookies. Your friend until the end of time, Garl. Oh, Garl's the best. Let's go up on the disc to eat the cookies. Got the cookie jar. These cookies are amazing. I can't believe Garl was just there. I miss him so much. He seems well at least. After what happened in the Forbidden Cavern. Knowing him, I bet he smiled it away the next day. <laughs> You're probably right. We can't like this we can't let something like this ever happen again. At this rate, it seems like we'll never sow something good enough for the Elder Mist. It'll happen. We just have to keep on training hard. And so they trained. And they sewed for years. And then they trained. And they sewed some more. Until one day. Vale, that's the one. I can feel it too. Hold on. All right, I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. It's interesting how they both ended up with ombre or ombre, however you pronounce it. Definitely not ombre. Oh, but it looks like ombre. Yeah, but that's just man <laughs> it, in Spanish. Yeah, they yeah. They just end up with a Spanish fan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's ombre, fine. But notice how hers is blue to purple and his is kind of like a yellow to orange. Yeah. And he's wearing his as a sash and, and she's wearing his as a shoulder cape. Shoulder cape, yeah. Headmaster, we think we're ready. Why, yes, the tingling of magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations. Moving forward, there will be no more sewing. I wonder if they practice sewing and then they finally come across that, you know, oh yeah, you know, this will be the piece that I finish. Or is it a thing where they've been weaving all this time and the bottom is frayed and kind of odd looking because it's when they were children and then it Gosh. gets really... Chances are, no, they've just got a pile of rejects. Uh-huh. I can deal with that. It will soon be time for you to leave your leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, the Zenith Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitors just arrived. Perfect timing. My, you've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Alina and Brugravers <laughs> are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them. It will be time for your final test. Ready to go through with the basics of magic? Yeah, but I'm gonna cut ahead so I can let my voice rest and also tutorials. Tutorial done. Are you ready for the final test then? Yes. Then let us begin. Fight me, you cowards! <laughs> The big day has finally come. Over the years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. It will now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? Yes, Headmaster. Y yes, Headmaster. Then speak them now. You go first, Sal. Huh, okay. Mm -hmm. So that I, I may use my agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions, I will enter the world as a blade dancer. I chose the curved blade, as it will not hinder my speed nor reflexes. Welcome, blade dancer. Come on, Valerie. I did it. Now it's your turn. Ahem. So that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil. I will become a battle monk. I chose the staff, 
for it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Welcome, Battle Monk. Today you must demonstrate mastery of everything Zenith Academy has taught you. Your final challenge awaits below. Please step aside. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something to keep you healthful. Uh-oh, he's... A tomato club? Now, with faith in your abilities and purpose in your actions, take the leap. And return as new recruits of our order. They're really going to jump from this height? I'm ready, Valerie. Let's just go for it. Falling damage. Oh, there's water at the bottom? That, not that that really helps, but okay. Video game logic. Ooh, that music. Mm -hmm. That's very... Oh, look. There's a chest on the left and some kind of device on the right. This music is very messenger-y. Hmm. Key items. Cookie jar. I don't think I'm supposed to put anything in. Do we still have the cookie jar? This is for Garl. Found an ornate stone. Okay, that goes in the pedestal. Mine. Put the cookie jar in, in instead. We just hop down? Heck yeah. Okay, what else do we have? You know what? Uh, Max. Oh yeah, this is the one that you can keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This is like the one I'm good at. Mm-hmm. Nice. It actually doesn't do that much damage, unfortunately. Aw. I wish it did. Uh, let's see. So he's got a heal. I might not want to use his MP too often. Eh, but they're probably fine at the moment. Training crude. Crube rather than a crab. Freak. Ooh, incinerated them. Yeah, so his actually does more damage. Oh, that might be a climbing wall. Oh, it is just a climbing wall. The music just stopped when I went in the hole, so I'm like, is it an area transition? But the answer is, of course not. Yeah. Looks like climbing up and down those ladders paid off. <laughs> Yep. Another ornate stone and more crub. Oh, more crubs. Okay. Ah, you're getting better at blocking them. Yeah. It. Helps. Let's see. She does have crescent arc. Do we? Mm, yeah, we'll do it. Nope. One thing I have to say is the animations are really smooth. Especially with all the leaping and whatnot going on. Yeah, I, I think that, I mean, artistically really it was one of their big selling points. It'd be kind of a shame if the game was super static. Their last game was also like a platformer Metroidvania game. Mm -hmm. And so I can kind of see... You maybe, would need to have really good movement for that. Yeah. All right. This definitely blows it out of the water. Like, I'll probably go back and finish the messenger someday. But I remember it hurt my hands pretty bad. Oh. But that was like years ago when I actually, like, my hands were in a worse state. Now it's not so bad. I haven't even been to the other side of the Forbidden Cavern yet. How could they understand? So you don't think that we should at least try to explain? You've seen how strong they are. Weird will be, at a, weird will be a walk in the park. Hmm. Let's see them off then. Oh. Weird. Exam mode engaged. Brace yourselves, meat bags. <laughs> 
Shuffle weakness. Physical. So does that mean that you have to alternate between physical and magical attacks in this fight? Probably. Vulnerable. Yep. Did he just hit me with his other arm? <laughs> the weakness is sod. I like that the symbols change color too. Oh, did it? Yeah, he's yellow now. Don't you notice? Oh, yeah, you're right. So we'll have to see what mode he transforms into next. Moon. We, we just moon, so blue. Yeah, moon. there we go. We do have crescent, but we also have moon orang. And that gets just faster and faster. Wow. Yeah, it does. But you're right. He does wind up and strikes with the other arm. So now it's physical again? Yep. Oh, interesting. What's that? Oh, you have to do sword attacks, too. Yep. There you go. Yeah, because I gotten the timing correct on his his second attack. Are uh, like I got the perfect. Oh, uh, I Did got the, to choose more magic defense. No, I get to choose. Yeah, hit points, mana, and physical attack. Hmm. Oh. Oh, this is always like the MP is actually kind of tempting, but. Especially early on, I think I'm just going to go for raw attack because we're always going to be hitting things. Mm -hmm. Oh, for both characters. And what, yep. what are his? So he's got magic attack as his other one. Oh, for that would be for his fireball. So mana points, physical defense, magic attack, physical. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to build him to be a mage because mm -hmm. he's got the Healy spell. Congratulations, you have been trained well. Return now to your headmaster. Return now to your old meat bag. <laughs> Congratulations, Valerie and Zale. You've learned everything Zenith Academy had to teach you. Ha! Huh. We did it. In record time, too. We must now learn of our ultimate power, the ability to use magic without using magic. Huh? But that knowledge is for the Elder Mist to impart. Come, the villagers have gathered to celebrate your departure. It is on special days such as this one that the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded of the importance of their duties. Oh, that tree is beautiful. Yeah, it it's is. glowing. Where's Garl? I don't see him. Many years ago, Valerie and Zale were delivered to us by the Great Eagle. Deliveries on, uh, on two solstices in a row to boot. A very rare occurrence. Who is this one? I don't know. I can't tell who's speaking. Oh, I remember. Gran was so happy to meet the two before she passed. I miss Gran. All of you have come together to nurture and protect them, just like your ancestors have done for so many children in the solstice before. <laughs> Valerie and Zale, step forward so that the good people of Moon Cradle might gaze upon those who would soon join the ranks of the solstice warriors. Rating is ridiculous. Oh, but let the villagers have their fun. It's all they get. So you're okay with this now? You know I'm not. Now cheer with me as we send these young heroes out across the Forbidden Cavern to meet the Elder Mist. 
Hooray! To the gate! What do we do? I want to see Garl before leaving. Guess we have to play along for now. Fingers crossed that we can come back after meeting the el this Elder Mist. Fingers and toes. I bet Garl Garl's just on the mountain waiting for us. In fact, I know he is. Mm hmm Alorin Zale, you must undertake this journey on your own now. We will not fail, Headmaster. Go now. Through the Forbidden Cavern and atop the, uh, the mountain trail to seek an audience with the Elder Mist. Learn how to use magic without using magic, and you shall enter the world as true solstice warriors. May Luana's might protect you! May Solon's light guide you! Here, yeah, this should keep you fed for a little bit. More tomato clubs. And if your adventure feels a little tough, you could take a look at these. The Amulet of Storytelling. I need some water for a moment. Mm hmm. There we go. And a sequent flare. First two relics. Find them in the relic section of the game menu. To adjust your experience. Oh, lighter challenge, push yourself more. Relics offer options. Hey! Okay. Remember to keep an eye out for merchants. Selling any valuables you find will keep you well fed and well equipped. You know what? I kind of like that. That they start off the game with a basic. This is what the normal like difficulty, difficulty or is. training thing, and then you get to decide for yourself. I like that a lot. Because too often you have to start the game with a an option. Yeah. Do you want Do you want easy, medium, or hard? What do those mean? I don't know. Oh, it just means how much HP enemies have. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> I like either being able to change the sliders or especially change the sliders dynamically. Like, oh boy, this boss is overtuned and my build sucks at it. Or, man, I really just don't like uh, timed attacks. And what if I could just automatically have them trigger, but at like partial effectiveness? Works great for me. Anyway, now, wherever your adventures, ta adventures take you, you must remember your first assignment. After the Elder Mist sends you out into the world, you must secure passage to the to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. And do keep on training, for a dire cleansing awaits us. Still can't believe he wants them fighting a dweller already. That's Moraine for you. We weren't much older the first time. Yeah, but... We'll find a way. Safe journeys, and may you cleanse this world. May you, May you cleanse, cleanse this, this world. world! That's a treasure chest. I we'll know. Have to come back and loot the town. <laughs> oh, purple. I love purple fantasy foliage. Yeah. The Forbidden Cavern. You know what I love about this game? Hmm. That we like we haven't even encountered yet. Uh, we've just finished 5% of the game, according to everybody I've heard talking about it. Like, it's only 20 hours long? We could finish this in a week. Sure feels easier now. This time we can make it through. Yeah, I don't know. I, I always get scared loading up RPGs like this and getting, like, really excited for them. And then, thinking, then you like, find out it's a hundred hours. Yeah, I'm just like, I, I just can't do that. You know, some some games I can find find the time or the will or whatnot, uh, but it's rough. Whereas like this, I'm just like, no, I can I can fit this into my like entire schedule this week if I want to. One thing I have to say that's aged really well with, Look at I that suppose one modern dude. pixel games. Uh, what's going on? Uh, the the one guy is charging up an attack, but he looks really silly. Uh, oh, just the waggling of his head, like, Arr. yeah. Uh, I really like how maybe this is a possibility with modern pixel art, but how you can have an overlay of a color for torches and stuff. Yeah. So that way you can have dynamic lighting in your environments without having to build it into the pixels themselves. And also, I think there's cast shadows. Yeah. Notice the pixels. Yep. The characters are having cast shadows. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it, it moves, yeah, depending on the light source. Oh, oh, you're right. Well, actually, there is a strong light source in the bottom right. Yeah. So it's not really being affected by if you go into that torch. It's not like you're having a second shadow, but 
Eh. It's still a nice effect. Like, 2.5 HD has been kind of a... Oh. It's weighted. Eh. Ah, it's locked in. I was like, do I have to time this? Do I have to worry about that? Verticality in these games does scare me. Like, that is the one problem with pixel art is... Boy, the moment you have to do anything with any level of, like, vertical movement or... Uh, like timing or placing jumps, it gets messy. Well, yeah, I wanted to take a look at those relics. So, what do we have? Auto heal after combat is the amulet of storytelling. So, ah, uh, so that it's kind of like oh. you know story mode. I'm gonna throw in the secret sequent flare, so that makes it so that when I get a perfect attack, it's just like, yep, you got a perfect attack. Oh, well, that's good. That's Moonerang. Um, wait. Also, notice how one of them is a sword and one of them is a hammer? Yeah. We don't have a hammer. Yeah, we do. Staff. Oh, oh, is it just bludgeoning? Yeah. Damage as opposed to slashing? Okay. Yeah. That well, makes sense for Valerie's staff. The problem is, he can't use any skills. I'm just gonna go for this guy. So are you more of a sun person or a moon person? You know my answer. I'm very yeah, much a moon person. Yeah, I think also moon. You also like moon? I mean, it. I cannot stand the heat and I'm nocturnal. So in, <laughs> in fact, by many accounts, I'm probably more of a moon person than you are. <laughs> Maybe not aesthetically, but in actuality <laughs> you may you may represent the moon life but I live it I embody it <laughs> I might try the auto heal uh... I thought it was cute when we went to the renaissance festival recently and there was a lady handing out tiny little stones that were little moons and little stars. And I noticed it after the first couple friends in our group got stars and moons. I'm like, I want a moon. I want a moon. And I got a moon. Wander got a star. <laughs> and mine was a, a goldstone moon too. I like goldstone and blue goldstone especially, but it was just a regular goldstone. Sparkly. Ah. Key for that. Needs a key. It's locked. Maybe the key's in the chest up there. It's out of reach for now. Let's look around. Oh, oh it raises the entire section of the cave? Wow. Oh, but that resets it. What? Oh. So what you need to do is you need to go up when it's raised, get the the treasure the chest, then lower it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because the lock has disappeared. Mm-hmm. Found the forbidden cavern key. So you didn't play a whole lot of, like, JRPG kind of games when you were young, right? No, because I didn't have access to the consoles where they would have been available. I think this is specifically mostly inspired by Chrono Trigger, mm. above all mm -hmm. else. Which is interesting for me, because that's actually like one of the few I haven't played at this point. Oh, Mending combo light. skill. Oh, yes. Mushroom soup? I wouldn't trust mushroom soup left in a cavern for how many years? Uh, actually, probably just an hour or two. <laughs> I have a certain garlish yes. feeling that somebody's been here before. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, free healing is always like a, a big sticking point for me. Uh, sure. What is this? Normal attacks heal for 15% of damage done. Yeah. Keep, uh, actually, no, 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 no. I, I'm going to keep her somewhat more defend, defended. Well, then the what is he going to be? Uh, unconscious. Oh, wait, but who's having leeching? She does. Okay. Uh, so specifically, I'm operating under the assumption that she can kind of do a self-sustain. Oh, press an arc. So interestingly enough, proximity matters. 
So Crescent Arc normally hits a group of enemies, but not here. Do you know what was bizarre about the Academy? What? It seemed like they were the only two who were present. Yes. There were beds enough for, what, six students per solstice element? And there yeah. just was no one else there. Which either means the Academy is in a reduced state or... Yeah, there aren't know. people that can wield the magic. Oh, I wonder if... There we go. Uh, I wonder if her Crescent Arc gains physical damage because it has the hammer attached. Like, if some skills are physical, uh, and some are magical. Because this fireball is probably just pure magic. Ooh, a dark chasm. The device is broken. We can't activate the bridge. There seems to be a detour through, through there, to the left. Worth a shot. Ooh, Ooh are fight. those dark fleshy spores or something? I don't know. I'm getting boss fight vibes, though. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. How are we on HP? Oh. Oh, rest to heal up. I spotted it just as I was heading up, and I was like, oh, that's probably an actual campfire. Oh, well, too late. in a cave sounds like a bad idea, that though. Camp? <laughs> Shame we didn't get to see Garl before leaving. So I think once we have a, an actual party, we can talk with people. Maybe we even get to do things. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so you can either quick rest at the camp, or you can actually do, like, a camp time. Valerie? Sounds big. Get ready. Oh, what is that Girl? giant grub? So freaking cool. Like the music and just the animation of it coming in. Mm hmm Oh, it's so good. All right. Uh, I saw a fuzzy caterpillar that looked a lot like it had that exact face with the mandibles and the weird mouth. They're quite poisonous. Okay, Moonerang, Moonerang. It looks like it's going wah. Wah, wah. Ah. Uh. I'm actually getting pretty good at timing their regular attacks, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And projectiles should be reasonably easy because I can track a project. Uh. A trajectory? Mm -hmm. oh. There we go. I can't let you do that. Um, Wait, did it say boss slug? Yeah, its name is boss slug. <laughs> Combo. Ah. I'm just gonna wait until I have mending light. Save that as my healing option. Oh, they're inching forward. Oh. Yeah, they sent some rocks at you. Ow. Ow. Oh, this is why we have he mending lights. Whoa. That's flashy. Now, I wonder, are these solstice warriors always in pairs? Um, Cause it seemed like that with Erlina and Bulgraves too. Oh, Bugave? For, uh, I can't forget it. I can't Bugaves. <laughs> These are just so freaking good. I guess I can fireball it. 
Yeah. I was vulnerable He's, to fire. Yeah, That's vulnerable to, to it. That's good. Right, time for rock. He always eats rock, which I feel mm. kind of bad about. Mm -hmm. I'm just never quite on the ball for it. Eh. Yeah, it seems to just be vulnerable to their magic in general. Okay. Yeah, you might want to do another healing skill at some point. You can't do the combo yet. But yeah, he, he's got enough for a heal on her. The problem is he only heals for 20. And even with like a perfect block, this thing still does... And some damage. Yeah, 10 damage. It's uh, kind of hard. Oh, we don't have an enemy health bar to know how much longer they'll have to hold out. Luckily, I think we'll be getting our combo. There it is. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I'm just looking at its mouth. <laughs> I'll fire that off immediately. Dual attack. It says effect hammer and sword. But well, don't you have to break the hammer and the sword before? Oh, this will reduce his death. I'm gonna. I'm taking a chance here. Can use the soul to strike. Ah, oh, well, you were able to bring it down. It. But uh, that means that you used that special strike to break, and you didn't actually get any of its damage through. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Mwah. And it conveniently disintegrates. Yeah, you can even get a perfect strike on a combo. I hadn't tested that yet. First big one. <laughs> we did it. Looks like there's a way out over there. The mountain shouldn't be much further now. All right, but for now, we're going to go back. This video has gone on for uh, a little longer than my voice can take, and I need a bit of a break. But you just beat the boss. What's I outside? <laughs> I, know. I don't know. I mean, I could take a look, but it's going to be that mountain that we've seen before already. I know, but then that means we might get back to the previous fine, cutscene. Fine, fine. Go in full circle. And I go into the... Ah. Mm, treasure. There's always a secret behind every waterfall and also bug. <laughs> There we go. I apologize for the coughing on this. I'm trying to look away. I should probably just stop to like hack up a lung, but eh. pharyngitis is a pain in the butt. I. Oh, hey. What is that? Turn the bridge back on if we want to go back. Not that we have any reason to do so. I haven't tested. I want to check one thing. So I don't know if we're going to have much of a tell. Oh, that's just the front, isn't it? I just it? wanted to see if enemies respawned. At least not here. Okay. I, like in all RPGs, grinding is kind of a, a way of softening a difficulty curve for me. Mm -hmm. And I prefer to have the option to do so. Maybe in the open world. Maybe not a dungeon. Yeah. That could be it. Uh, maybe if we leave the dungeon and come back, then they come back. Uh, but I don't know. Either way, Sea of Stars is available now. Uh, it's 35 bucks on every single platform. <gasps> oh. Ooh, are these the villains? Things are starting to move. I'm eager to see what these two can do. Eager and impatient, too. For now, we wait. Three, you know what to do. Wait, so there's a one, two, three, and four? Wish. Wish. A fishing Wish. hole? Shungo, sun glow lake. Okay, we're not actually doing any fishing. But you can, in fact, do a fishing minigame. That sounds interesting. Maybe fun. Don't know. I like this world map. It's pleasant. I'm assuming this is locked off for the time being. Solstice Shrine. Well, this is where I'm supposed to go? Nope. It's locked. It locked. Uh, but yeah, 35 bucks on every single platform. Switch, PC. 
uh, PS4 and Xbox. And if you have either the Games Pass or PS Plus, it's available uh, through both of those. So you already have access to this game. Highly recommended. It's uh, probably going to be one of the best RPGs in years. And, uh, you know, it's not one of those games that's going to last for, like, forever. So you can beat this in a week or a weekend if you really tried. Yep, full circle. Yeah, this is it. Full circle. All right, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. So the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? Yeah. Cool. And there they are, back at the campfire. I really hope that we'll get a chance to return to Moon Cradle after this. What if we're sent out into the world right away? Yeah, I don't know. Just wish Garl was here. We could certainly use some Celestial Willow Jam to go with this awful bread. <laughs> the dream. Oh. Huh? Don't tell me. Celestial... Uh, Celestial Willow Jam? Oh! I got some right here, guys. I haven't picked up some mushrooms. You wouldn't believe this soup I'll make. What? <laughs> oh, I found some herbs in the Forbidden Cavern, but they're, they'll do just right. Garl? What? You didn't really think I was going to let you go on an adventure without me, did you? Garl! Aww. Haha, <laughs> so good to see you two again. You look so strong now. Hey, why didn't you show up at our departure? You kidding? There's absolutely no announcement. As soon as I heard everyone gather, I went to our hideout to pack my stuff. You left so fast. Guys, I'm so pumped for this journey. I know all about survival now. Fishing and gathering and cooking and... Mm -hmm. What's wrong? You can't actually come with us. We just wanted to say goodbye. We're on duty now, and it's pretty dangerous. You can't mean that. We always talked about how we'd all leave together after your training. Uh. Plus, I've spent all those years practicing in our little cave. I'm ready. Look, I may not have any special powers like you do, but I'm built strong and I've been preparing. This here's my shield. I'll be a defensive fighter. No, a warrior cook. Oh yeah? Sure I am, and I've been reading a lot too. See, most of the monsters you're going to be facing won't even be flesh monster minions, which means anyone can fight them. Are you sure about that? Totally. You haven't seen any yet, have you? No, but... I'll know when to step aside, don't worry. Plus, you can't really travel the world with just a few sandwiches. What were you thinking? That's... yeah. See? You need me. You just do your solstice warrior duties, and I'll keep your bellies full. Carl. Deal? Okay. Deal. Oh, I'm so happy. No way. This is awesome. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. I'll start the kettle. We have so much catching up to do. Carl, the warrior cook, joins the party. I wonder how much party management can I do? Can I... Can I beat this game with a party of not Solstice Warriors? <laughs> <laughs> well then, do we want to continue just a little bit more to the end of the conversation? Yeah, or let's you finish say? the conversation. And so apparently, after we meet this Elder Mist, we'll be able to use magic without using magic. And be sent out into the world. That's all we've been told. I guess finding our, uh, finding our own way is the final step of the training. Our first assignment is to get to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. Wow, that's a lot. Your powers sound uh, sound so cool, though. Can't wait to see them in action. So, how about you, Garl? Oh, it was pretty uneventful, to be honest. All I did was train and learn skills that I thought would come in handy. Every single day, I was hoping to see you come out. I'm sure glad no one told me it would take... I, I'm sure glad no one told me it would take ten years. Yeah, we missed you, too. It's not fair we were together, and you had to do this on your own. We're all together now, so it doesn't matter anymore. I can't wait to explore the world. I want to taste everything. Hey, this soup is unreal, by the way. Right? Uh-huh. How much food did you pack? Just enough for a few meals. It's better to travel light, but there's ingredients everywhere if you know where to look. 
And who knows what we'll find. It's all part of the adventure. Why don't you try now, Valerie? See that bush right there? It's full of juicy berries. All you have to do is pick them. All right. Shell, I'm not going to make it to the end of this conversation. We're okay, going to ogle these fine. berries well, and it, send off. Okay, it, it's just nice that... We're going to become one with the berries. There we are. <laughs> it's nice that they all got reunited and, yeah, kind of have your little starting party to go to the Elder Mist. It's a very charming group. I'm I'm getting some strong Golden Sun vibes from the cast right off the bat, and I like that. Um, Like I said, I, I've played a lot of these... Uh, I guess now old school JRPGs and this one fits right in honestly blows a lot of them out of the water. Well, also it seems to have a far more dynamic combat system yes. than I've seen in so many. It's yeah, not it's, just turn based. I kind of, I kind of hope we get some more relics that uh, allow me to tweak it a little bit because I'm not always going to be playing this at hours where I can get the reflex tests. I'm honestly shocked. I got so good at them. <laughs> um, but even then it feels like, you know, if I'm playing this past 10 PM, I might want to just turn those off. So we'll have to see what my options are as we go further uh but anything else you want to say before we go no i mean this is a good start we've been introduced to a number of characters and they even had that little cutaway to show potential villains yeah they it was bizarre they had these bird-like faces and do they have three eyes on their masks yeah, at least four did i think all of them did yeah yeah so it's interesting to see what this Flashmancer and his minions are going to be too. And I will say this game is going to be a little cheesy. Uh, so if you want a more serious story, I don't know if this one's going to have exactly that. Why are you saying that cheesy? Uh, because it's made by the people who made the messenger and the messenger was cheesy as hell. And I can't imagine that they've changed their stripes that much for this game either. But, but do you mean cheesy or do you mean cute and endearing? Uh, like they're, they're, these, half, they're always, these half... are two sides of the same, Velveeta coin. <laughs> they are they are both flip sides of the cheddar. Uh, anyway, I really am losing my voice, though. So mm -hmm. uh, I guess with all that said, uh, one last thank you to Sabotage Studio for sponsoring this video. It was very kind of you, and it was a ton of fun. And we're going to be playing this on our own, uh, more or less, for the next couple of nights. And maybe we'll come back with our thoughts after we're done, uh, assuming my voice can handle writing and recording or something. We'll see. Uh, but... I guess with that, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave us a like, help somewhere than you know, and if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe, because we've got tons to check out and show off. With that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.